Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macross Gacha video. If you're wondering what day and time am I recording this, well, technically it's uh, 1 a.m. in Japan time, and the servers have refreshed. I'm finally home from work, so I can finally do this video. And apparently, well, it seems that we have a new banner if you manage to see when you load up the game, they show a shiny flash and they will introduce you a very interesting banner which can be seen here as well so this one is actually a brand new promotion with um, Dana and of course Big West um, they are promoting the upcoming Uta Macross no, not Uta Macross the <laughs> Macross Delta Zetai Life movie um, and if you've gone to the mission page, you probably see a brand new banner as well because that's what it's all about. Basically, you have to clear missions and obtain a ticket chance um, to win a ticket for the movie, <laughs> basically. But sadly to say, for us foreign fans, we have no go at this. Uh, it's only applicable to people who are living within Japan and can receive email notifications or rather basically um, notifications via Japan's IP so for us foreign fans outside of Japan well basically we only can earn the rewards from the missions and that's about it so there's a lot of you know um, stuff here that's mentioned regarding what the um, ticket winners will get so if you notice some of the text here the date period or rather the promotion period is from the 1st of September which is today um, up to the 13th of September yeah midnight in Japan and of course you see this blue text of words here that you can click basically it will bring you to the browser and of course they will ask you to read all the details and all that but normally who does that and of course you have to fill up your name your name in furigana your email address and of course you submit then only after you've done this and you've completed the mission cards in Uta Macross um, do you actually stand a chance to win one of the 30 tickets available um, for this campaign so yeah uh, sadly to say for us like I said for foreigners we have no chance at all to gain those tickets so basically what are the presents um, they mentioned here there are 30 participants who can win the tickets and of course they will tell you what you can win so basically there is like the 10 people who will win tickets then of course there's um, 10 pieces of energy at the you know then of course the tiny luck stone fragments and of course the singing stones as well and of course you can see the lower few have like lesser rewards than the rest so you gotta be lucky as well you know not just winning the tickets and of course there's all the notifications here regarding all the rules and regulations and all that so then there, of course at the bottom here there's one that's mentioning um, you know if you can't receive the email notifications and if you don't have a stay in the dress in Japan I guess that's probably the main reason why foreign fans cannot win the ticket because they can't send you the ticket, the ticket. so basically uh, this is all mumbo jumbo to the rest of us outside of Japan so I'm not going to translate everything because it's just a waste of time so let's dive into the mission page and we'll talk about what you should be doing to at least get the free rewards that you can get from this mission so there are daily missions here as you can see this is the most important item for those who are participating in this campaign um, this is needed to try and win the ticket of course you have to gain all of them um, basically you have to clear this mission every day if you are trying to gain the ticket but you know what's really important for us is below that <laughs> So um, basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna translate all of them, even the pointless one. So basically, the easiest one here is to play any song and clear the song. So that's pretty easy. 
Then of course, the second one, which is um, what matters to us. Play any song, score you know, 150,000 uh, points and above. Of course, you gotta clear the song though. So, um, I think Skip Ticket should handle this as well. Um, so the second one, any song with difficulty higher than normal, um, and of course you have the full combo clear. So that's pretty easy considering that the current event has uh, ne um, Neko Niki. So that's a pretty easy song to handle. Then of course you have your regular missions which doesn't require you to rush. Well technically you've got until the 13th of September to clear. So <clears throat> here we go. It seems like it's basically all um, full comboing of the highest difficulty. So if you can full combo a uh, extreme song, instantly you will clear this and at least one of the lower few. So that's not too bad. So that's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> so you just have to pay attention to basically the daily missions that give the um, you know the super dimension tickets and of course the very import impo important I am stuttering because my throat is stuck. There's something in my throat right now. <coughs> I'm trying to clear. So um, yeah, the all important secret stone fragments, which after I created the um, you know high score challenge or you know rough idea why the luck stone is very important to high score. If you've not watched that, please go check it out. It's in the tutorial playlist, and you understand why this secret stone fragment is very very important, especially to free to play players out there. So, all right, guys, that's it for the movie ticket campaign. We're gonna dive into the gacha um, right after I actually claim <laughs> my event gacha tickets, which I've yet to do so. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, now that I've claimed my tickets, let's get down to the main topic of this video. So as usual, there is a step up gacha. Um, if you guys can afford the singing stones, there is a discount pack um, going on as usual. Because, you know, they want our money and there's two 7 star episode plays this month. So technically, uh, yeah, that's how they <laughs> market things. Whenever there's a new 7 star gacha, of course they will toss in the discounted sing stone packs so that you will spend your money trying to get your waifu's episode plates. But you know, for me, I would love to spend if I could, if I could there is, <laughs> so money is a bit tight so I'm gonna pass on the discounted singing stone plates, um, I mean singing stone packs for now, I don't know, let's see how it goes, I might invest in it later on after all, considering that um, the 7 star plate gachas do last technically to the end of the month, well, except for the step up, which only lasts for 2 days, so it's always good to pull the step up gacha if you can afford to, because technically they have better rates than the regular version, so okay, start things off, let's break down Ranka 7 star episode plate. So, hmm, it seems like this plate is joining in the pile of episode plates that do not have the special notes attached to them. So, hopefully, the stats on this plate um, does justice for it, I guess. So, 4253. Um, it's pretty good, actually. Uh, I think it's on par to Ray Ray's most powerful episode plate, if I'm not wrong. So, if you didn't know, Reina's um, 7 star episode play, well at least the more latest one, is actually Valkyrie's best <laughs> stat 7 star uh, episode play out there right now. Uh, I noticed it when I was trying to gain my 10 million high score and I was trying to find friends with very high total um, episode plates. So apparently Ray Race is the highest out there. So interesting. <laughs> so well it's one of these episode plays that is not balanced out in terms of 
stats. So it focuses on charm, which means the new Chogokin song for Uta Macross is focusing on the charm factor. So if you're planning to gain high score for it, definitely build your episode plates accordingly to the charm stat. So yeah, center skill, Macross Frontier song. If that is if you are using the double S rank skill, because you're playing a Frontier song with a Frontier episode plate. So that's how you get this activated. So Macross Frontier song's unit's charm is boosted by 150%. Wow, 150%! Is that the highest we've seen so far? Oh, that's pretty interesting. So I guess these are the new episode plates with very good center skills now. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, moving along. Active skill, same thing. If you fully evolve the episode plate to its 7 star form, you get to activate it twice, giving you the 100% boost in score for 15 seconds. So that's as usual for any 7 star episode plate out there. Life skill, however, is for short duration songs. So it's got that score up ability uh, at the 45 second mark. For 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 20% up. Not the best life skill, but I mean, if you're looking for a friend assist episode plate for high score achievement purposes, it does technically help in some way, considering that 7 star episode plates have the best stats out there. So, yeah. Alright, so should you pull this episode plate? Um, well, technically, I would say yes. If you're a Ranka fan, if you're not a Ranka fan, well, technically, you could save up your singing stones for your future waifu or husband though out there. Uh, you never know, you know, because you might get lucky and attain your favorite character's best episode plate later on if it gets released or it has already been released, that kind of stuff. So, I'm actually looking at the wiki page right now um, for <laughs> Utah Macross and looking at the 7 star episode plates totals um, let's see Ray Ray's best episode plate um, has a total score of 4092 and Ranka's brand new 7 star has 4253 <laughs> technically this episode played Aranka tops Ray Ray's. Well, I mean, considering that Ranka's episode plate details here is showing the plus 25 luck value, so I don't know. Technically, personally, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> well, who knows? Um, we'll we'll find out more once they've added this episode plate into the. Listing. Oh, they did! So the wiki does show um, Ranka's total score without the plus 25 luck value is only at 4003. That's pretty interesting. So, right now, as of what I can see on the wiki, the highest value on a total for a non plus 25 luck value episode plate actually belongs to, let's see, Milane? No, Basara. Wow! So, okay, Basara's crossover costume 7 star episode plate actually has a total score of 4,099. Milane is just one point below. She's 4,098. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. And Reyna's episode plate that I was talking about um, has 4,092. Alright, so that's pretty interesting. I probably should be making a 7 star episode plate ranking video sometime soon. I mean, I've been looking at all these stats on Wiki for quite some time now. And yeah, I think I'm coming to a conclusion on what episode plate should be in the top 10 for 7 stars right now. So, alright guys, let's dive back into the video. 
enough of the wiki information. I mean, it's pretty interesting if you're an uh, info geek like me. <laughs> and that's why I make tutorial videos for this game. So let's start off things with um, the free gacha pools as usual. Let's test the luck that's currently going on for this time period for my account. Oh my goodness, there's a loading bar for a free pool. Okay, it seems the luck is pretty good. There's three Valkyries for a single free pool. Oh no, there's a red box. Oh, it went to rainbow! Oh no, what is going on? Okay, it's not a fantastic 5 star episode plate, but the luck is there. Should I actually do the template pool right now? Um, It's not a fantastic plate because it's one of those very old plates and it's an episode plate that gives points to a Valkyrie. So yeah, as you can tell, total score is not that fantastic. And yeah, the skills are not even at the S rank stats. So nobody uses this episode plate for high score achievements. It's just one of those plates that you get and you go, meh. <laughs> Alright, so, I don't know. Should I go for it now? The luck seems pretty good though. Okay, let's start off with the event gacha tickets first. And let's just see how things go. I have a feeling it might not go well. Oh no, that's actually loading. I do hope I get my waifu's plate though. Ooh. Okay, so it continues on with the three Valkyrie trend. Hmm. Ooh, lots of red boxes. Okay. Hopefully the red boxes all stay at the back. And here comes the first one. No evolution on this one though. Okay, let's keep going. Costume points. Okay, so the thing about all the 4 star plates, or rather the red boxes here in this gacha, technically they don't give you costume points for the new 7 star featured plates, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, at least one episode plate evolved. Not too bad. So we didn't get any fantastic luck from the event gacha tickets. Let's go with the special pass tickets next. Hopefully there's something there. Here we go. I could be saving it up for Maki Maki's episode plate. Um, but, you know, I want my waifu more. <laughs> I mean, I want both episode plates so badly. Especially if I want to create that Mirai on full costume set live performance. Oh no, it seems like the luck is disappearing. Mm. Ooh, lots of red boxes. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. No evolution again. Ooh. It seems like we are sticking around with the average luck this time round. I fear that the free single pool just now ruined the luck. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So, it seems like it's horrible. Okay, so what's next? I'm gonna go with the, the free daily pool. This is the night version. As you can tell, the crescent moon is there. Oh no, why does this one have loading bar as well? Okay, no Valkyries appearing. I think the luck is really screwed up. Alright, let's see what is this. A pretty mediocre 
considering that I have a double digits for this episode play. So, I don't know. It's not... I feel like it's not time yet to pull the, the discounted pool rate. So I'm gonna go with the Super Dimension Gacha, considering that I have like 30 tickets that's expiring on the 18. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do a single template pool from this. Let's see how the luck is. Then we'll move on to the main template pool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whenever I see the loading bar now, I'm very nervous. Am I making a mistake here? Okay. Seems like... Oh no! No. Please don't give me anything great. Oh god, the red box is gonna evolve. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh god. Oh, this thing is gonna evolve. Holy... Oh! It's actually a good plate. So if you guys recognize this plate, because it's one of those plates that actually have a item note attachment to it. So, that's pretty good for this event. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so it's not the red box that evolved. Oh god. Oh, the plate evolved though. Huh. Okay, should we go for it now? I don't know. I feel very uncertain, not confident at all. Let's wing it then. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh god. I'm not expecting anything, but if the waifu comes home, I'm gonna scream, <laughs> so you guys get your ears prepared. Oh god. Oh, there is loading as well. That is not good. Here we go. Three, four, five. Mm. Come home to Papa. Oh! Four red boxes and one rainbow. Could this be it? Ooh, Reyna is looking as anxious as I. <laughs> she appears twice. Oh god. This is killing me. Oh no, evolution! And it's an old play as well. Aww. What? Oh no, it didn't. It didn't evolve further. Okay. Why are they giving me all the old plates? Stop. Stop giving me all the non-useful stuff. But you know, cost costume points gives you episode pop episode ops. So that's fine. Oh god, I'm so tired. It would have been nice to see the waifu come home. But there's Oh! Oh I was wrong! This episode plate is actually useful since I Kira fight it! <laughs> Oh god, I'm so tired. But I want the waifu. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use 400 singing stones for the step up gacha. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I mean, if somehow or other I'm gonna end up purchasing the discounted packs, I'll let you guys know the results in the next gacha video for. Uh, Maki Maki 7 star episode flick video so if I do get something you will see it then but for now we're gonna go with this 400 singing stone pool and we're gonna end it there my heart cannot take it neither can my stamina I need to go sleep <laughs> so let's do this let's settle this once and for all oh god my brain is lagging my words are stuttering oh god and it's even loading. Oh no. I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh, there's a rainbow box. Could this be it? Nope. Oh my god, the anxious Ray Ray again. This is a bad sign.
Here we go. Oh, it didn't evolve. Oh. I'm sure I have this fully evolved. Alright, seems like... Yeah. Seeing Reina gives me bad luck. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a very strange feeling. So, okay. It's not a fantastic Milane plate. Considering that I've already fully evolved it. No special notes attached. A uh, pretty average total score considering it's a more recent 6 star episode plate, I guess 2 years range. So, but it does have the score repeat ability though, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Oh well. So anyway guys, that's it for now. If I do pull for more of the waifu, like I said, you will see it in the next video. But for now, thank you guys so much. As always for watching through the video, if you guys did watch through the entire thing, let me know in the comments down below. I really really appreciate you guys who do so. And of course, especially for those of you who are actually subscribed to the channel. Because yes, there's still a whole bunch of you who are watching my videos but are not subscribed. I'm, I'm seriously baffled. So <laughs> yeah guys, do the usual stuff, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video or even Monster Hunter Stories too because I really need to continue that game. <laughs> Until then, bye! I really need to sleep. <laughs>